Hi there, my name is Nathy Yam, and today we're playing Subnautica. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, when we last left off, we had too much lithium, and still do. Uh, I went ahead and moved all that lithium to uh, to the system, so now none of this out here has uh, lithium anymore. So these guys are all just magnetite, magnetite, and this now is just full of magnetite. Uh, that guy's still not running, uh, so we're going to need more ore consumers. And I know just where to find more. Let's see if... Let's see if we have more. And I was going to drop a beacon, but whatever. <laughs> Not you. Shroomfrist. That's where we're going. Um, I might also want to start thinking of another... Try to find another biome that will give me... Diamonds and or magnetite. Because I don't know if the mushroom forest is going to cut it for too much longer. So we might want to think, try to find a biome that's maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, obviously, I'm not. I'm not really anywhere close to tapping out the tapping out the mushroom biome down there. But um, it's certainly not going to last us forever. Eventually, we're going to have to build another base or sort of a come up with like almost like a little modular system like what's the what's the sort of the minimum requirements for a little mining base obviously we need a remote storage unit we need the drillers we need the consumers um but like how much base can we get away with one room I assume will be plenty but we got to figure out exactly what those numbers look like this is a decent sign to me because I feel like that means we're using those uh, components huh, need lithium I got lithium yeah I mean I feel pretty good about this what are we lacking here gold Oh, it's table coral? <gasps> oh, table coral might actually be the slow guy. All right. We'll turn this up then. Actually, we'll turn it all the way up. Can't have you being slow on account of table coral. So, uh, two glass, two plasteel, an advanced wiring kit, two silicone rubber, and a lubricant. Two glass, two plasteel, uh, an advanced wiring kit, two silicone rubber, and a, and a lubricant. All right, except for that advanced wiring kit, which we should be getting now. Yep, there it is. Uh, two glass, two plasteel, a wiring kit, two silicone rubber, and a lubricant. And then we should get one more of those now that we've gone back to past the 15 limit. Oh, it give me 16. That's right. It can it can only, it makes them at two at a time. So 16 is fine. All right. Cool. There we go. So three. I got three. And it's fairly even. Like I didn't end up with, you know, there's a fair amount of glass. Eight. Titanium is not very much for considering this. Gold we're getting at a, like, that's kind of an astonishing rate. Also, I'm surprised. I thought it'd be the other way around because we actually need three gold. So but copper is coming in pretty hot. Gold is coming in pretty hot. Silver and sand. Or silver, it looks like the lowest, maybe. Silver might be the least common. So there definitely seems to be rarity involved with the miners. It doesn't seem to be balancing fully out. But that's pretty good. That was not that was not wildly out of balance, in my opinion. That that basically worked out to whoa, I forgot stuff doesn't stack. <laughs> that uh, that basically worked out to three or three or consumers and not much else you know a little bit of a little bit of surplus here and there but like nothing major I'm pretty impressed with that I wasn't sure how that was gonna how that was gonna work at itself out especially if I just if I'm away for longer I mean I was only away for like 10 or 15 minutes um but if I'm away for longer then we should theoretically be have quite a few of them like 
locked and loaded when I go over there. You know, it's like, oh, I need a few more ore consumers, and I just take a trip over there. We definitely got to get a tr teleporter over there um, into a couple more of these bases. But now that we're making a fair bit more money, that's going to be start to be an easier and easier prospect. Because now we've got like 5 million, 5 million bones, almost 4.3. Um, so now buying a, buying a handful of teleporters doesn't seem like a particularly daunting task anymore. Um, but... Yeah. Also, do I need this room? What do we even have in that room? Why do I have this room? Can I just get, get away with one room? Ah. I really wish I built that over here. <laughs> um, really wish. So yeah, that is something. That's the other thing. So like in order to build another little factory, another one of these money-making bases, I'm gonna have to have an auto crafter and a hydroponic harvester, but I, only one of each for sure. And I have 150 of these. I'm gonna go ahead and take these, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm going to take these out, <laughs> I guess. Where am I going to put this? God, I wish there was like a, just a move. Wait. Am I deleting them by doing that? I am. All right, yeah, we're just, I'm just going to clear it. Whatever. Just, just go away. <laughs> we're not gonna have any. We're not gonna have. Whoa! What do you mean three? Ah, oh, what's happening? <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. Um, not gonna have any lubricant for a minute, but it'll, it'll be fine. Worst case scenario, this. What just happened? Why? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> why, why did that suddenly stop working? Can you... Are you actually gonna go? Oh. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, so what happened? Why do you still say four or seven? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that's not right though. There isn't seven in here. There's none. Oh no, it broke. <laughs> I broke it. See, there should be a, and this this can't make any more. <laughs> um, all right, let's build some more consumers, real quick. Actually, you know what? Let me just put the stuff away. Welcome aboard, Captain. They're not full. I'm just gonna put all of this away for a minute, because, or just that that many, because now it's full. Um. Let me see if it'll let me pull these out now. <gasps> it won't. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Wait till there's another one, maybe? Maybe that'll sort of trigger it to... I wanna get this out of here. <laughs> But oh, beans. All right, give me a minute. I'll be back when I figure out what's going on with this thing. Okay. Uh, never figured out how to get that out, so I'm gonna keep it on. 
and maybe it'll get back up to the right number and sort of nudge its brokenness in the other direction? I don't know. But I tried closing and reopening the game, and then now we've got this other problem where it just keeps re just flapping back and forth between emergency power only and power restored. Which concerns me a little bit. And then that wasn't set? I don't know what's happening. Things might be breaking. <laughs> Which is fine. I kind of knew they would be eventually, right? Like, I feel like this can only... This can only take us so far. <laughs> I, I fear. I don't know. I don't know. Part of me is hoping that this is going to be... Robust and wonderful, but... What's going on? Why? Where's all my power? I mean, you know, the power seems to be working. The 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 windmills are up and running. The batteries are dead, which is interesting. So maybe we're just not producing enough power. So I don't know who's freaking out. This, these are going up though. How can these be going up? Did have I did somehow maybe maybe somehow all the connections got turned off? I know in the past I've seen this happen with the messages just flip, flipping out uh, because it loads them up so quickly and I just can't get through them in time. See, this is wrong. This should not be push. I don't think. I think these all got to set to push. Oh no. What's happening? Oops. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I may have set this all up wrong. I probably did. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, hold on. Yeah, nah, everything's everything is gonna be super broken, I think, for a minute. Okay, this is BS54. That's where we should be pulling power from. BS54 is our power generator, I believe. And that's the one that technically whoops, sorry. That's the one that technically has the the pylon out. I've been selecting 13 this whole time, because I thought it was considering that that this is part of this base, but it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. 54 is not one of the options. What the heck is happening? So wait, that's set to... What does my power look like here? 2,000? What is going on? 2,000 seems like the number I'm getting from just this stuff. What? I thought you outputted power. I thought I didn't need a pylon for this. What happened? <laughs> Am I dumb? Did I totally misunderstand how this works? BS54. I don't even know what that number means. I assume that means this is 33,000 and not 30,000. Because it's 1100. How did I get 33.2? Uh, oh no, I guess that makes sense. Oh boy. It's, it's 12. 12 times 11. Sounds about right. Uh, but why? How do so? How? Oh yeah, there it is up there. Thirty-three thousand two hundred. How do I get this power out? I could have swore this has its own. Like, is that the point of this? The point of it having its own code? I thought it had its own power output. I'm so confused. This message flapping back and forth is really starting to really starting to get to me. All right, well, this is going to be the episode of just trying to figure out what the heck is wrong with everything. I 
I mean, obviously I'm going to need more power, but... What? <laughs> that is the full list. What's base 38? I don't remember the name of any of my bases. Okay. Pull. I don't want to pull from any of these. None of these are correct. 50 is our... Or consumer factory. What the heck is 36? <laughs> we can we can maybe get a sense of what base is what <laughs> by looking in here maybe. Alright, so fifty-two. Since when the heck was this fifty-two? What? Okay. This is not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Oh no, everything is broken. How is everything broken? All right, you know what? I'm going to put up I'm going to put a power pile on. I'm going to do it. Cuz Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh. Oh. Oh, man. What happened? Everything broke. This is stinky. Oh, I can't drop it inside. I can only drop it outside. How do I drop this? How about now? Hmm. 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 All right. Well. I'm a little less concerned about my account being broken. I'm a little more concerned about power not being pro produced and provided to all these places. So let me go... Let me go take a little jaunt to some of these bases. <laughs> and see, we may have to not... Maybe we can't use the remote power thing. Oh boy, this is not good. Um... If this is going to continue to be a problem. Power restored. All oh, good. Online. This is the one that's freaking out. Uh, I don't even know what these bases are. Okay, well, we have a power pylon. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this up. I, I thought, I thought the windmills... Po uh, pushed their own power. Basically, had like a built-in pylon, which probably they probably do, and everything's probably broken. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, I have an older save, which I'd rather not revert to, but it would be better than if everything is f permanently broken. We're gonna have to find out. We'll mess around with this for a while and see if see if things are permanently broken, or if if it's just a setback. Because a setback I can deal with. Permanently broken, less so. Can I not even put one of these down? Can't even put this down ever anywhere over here. Wait, what? Oh, am I just too close to it? Yeah, that's what always happens. Okay, can't go there. Can go on here, though. Can it go on here? <laughs> it's so hard to tell. I have to be so far away from it. All right, I'm going to put this here. This is BS054. 
So I don't want to hear any shenanigans. I really wish I could give this a name. I'm really hoping. I'm going to see BS54 on the pylon. It's very possible that maybe everything's messed up because my account got broken. But I don't know. Let's see if I see BS54054. Uh on this pylon down here. It might be worth destroying these thermal generators as well. Uh, because I think that I'd rather them have I'd rather this base have no power. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's 30. It says it's 5-4, but it's not. It's 30. And this is going to light up, too. Okay. Let me go take that pylon down. I think things just got messed up. I think all the names got changed. I think that's what happened. All the names got changed, and so all the pylons are, are looking at the wrong... Looking at the wrong thing. They were looking for 52. And 52 doesn't exist anymore. So now I need 30. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> so I'm sure all of my bases are messed up now. Um, which makes me a little hesitant to take the... Uh, take the... Uh, bud. Um, take the teleporter down to the deep base because does it work? <laughs> Who knows? At this point, I could get I could get teleported to a different universe. I have no idea. But let's see. Let's see if we can set this guy. Back to being 30. I mean, it was 30 already, but the fact that I just, yeah, got rid of that power pylon. I'm sure it pissed it off. Okay. You should have power. I don't want to hear anything else. Okay, 33950. It's not the right number. <laughs> Although I guess the 950 could come from something else. But these should be running now. Seeing yellow over here, which means that they're empty? Nor worse to process. That shouldn't be the case, but that might just be because stuff's getting messed up. But you should have ore. You should see the magnetite. So, what's happening? On. I can't click it. Which is concerning. I can't click this one either. Mm. Everything is messed up. Everything's so messed up. It might be unsalvageable. We might have to sort of start over. Not from the beginning. Don't worry. <laughs> I might just have to... Uh, revert to an older save. We'll see. I'm just going to take these down, though, because these, I think, are causing more trouble than they're worth. I'd rather the bases just turn off when... Oh, great. When weird stuff happens, you know? Why are these yellow? Why can't I interact with them anymore? Why is everything falling apart, and why did it all start with that stupid... Hydroponic harvester. It's all your fault. Uh, let's see. Base 13. Kind of glad that I named base 13 base 13. Uh, 
Uh, I don't want to get it rid of anything that's definitely part of the... Uh, or consumers that I may or may not make. <laughs> uh, I haven't backed up this save for a hot minute, though, so... Even if I do have a, back, a save backup, uh, it's not going to be fun. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be good trying to get back to this this state. I'm not gonna love it. But I'd rather that than having to start all the way over. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. But hopefully that will maybe cause a little less stress on this base and its ability to contain itself. <laughs> um, but okay, so base 30 is my new... Oh, okay, this one, this one's coming back to life. I still can't click on it. Which is weird. Which is very weird. And very upsetting and very scary. Uh, is this 38? I guess... Oh, okay, base 38 is now BS057. Yeah, well, that's gone. Which is not surprising. So, these are gonna break too. Everything is gonna break. Everything is gonna break. And, of course, I saved when I was trying to fix the issue with the... Man, I should have just left that alone. <laughs> I saved when I was trying to fix the issue of the um, creepvine cluster not leaving the hydroponic harvester. And so now... I should have just... I should have just, like, alt f uh, Subnautica. And that way... I would have only lost today's work <laughs> instead of uh, very possibly many weeks of work. Let's see here. Okay, let's get to base 30. I don't know why that opens up my thing, but... Okay. Um, let's head over to Shroomfrist real quick. <laughs> Got this... It's a nightmare, but hey, look, this is, you know, this is part of it. It might be, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, gotta show your L's. Sometimes things don't always go the way you want, and this is certainly one of those times. <laughs> but, we're gonna persevere. I hope. And hopefully things... Hopefully things aren't irreparable. I'm gonna spend a little bit more time, um, I think off camera, I'm gonna spend a little time just, just poking around, seeing if I can find anything that's irreparable. Like, the fact that I can't access the ore consumers is very concerning to me. But I will maybe try rebuilding them and see what happens, build new ones, see what happens. Um... And if I can't, if I can't get it to a point where I feel like it is pseudo back to normal, uh, then I may revert to an old save. And then next episode, we'll start with me trying to put the wheels back on. <laughs> we'll see how long it's been. It's, it's, I think it's been a couple weeks since, uh, since I backed up my save. So, or at least a week or two. Uh, which is not gonna be fun, let me tell ya. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be good. Um, but it won't be the end of the world. All right, so, these aren't gonna function anymore. So what's this base called? Uh, B058. 
or BS058. Is that is that not what it was before? Nope. <laughs> All right, a lot of things are going to need to be fixed. I'm not even going to bother fixing them until I'm fairly confident that this thing is still a viable, uh, that we still have a viable save on our hands. And, uh, but if I decide that we don't, or that we do, I guess, if we decide that, I, if I decide that I do have a viable base on our hands, then, or viable save, then I might go back and fix some of those things. Um, but if not, then we'll start over. Sort of. We'll we'll start from a week or two ago, whenever it was, uh, and I might fast track some of the stuff. You know, I don't think this base was built. Uh, this base was definitely not built, but I don't even think it was being conceived of. <laughs> um, you know, so that five million, you know, uh, Altera bucks investment that I had to make, we're gonna have to start that all over again. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, We'll find out when I come back next episode. We'll we'll either be sort of still here fixing things, or we will be back in time. Uh, but don't worry, I'll make I won't make you sit through it all over again. Uh, I'll just try to get back to this point as fast as possible uh, from that old save, if that ends up being necessary. But okay, thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> I hope you have an incredible day. And yeah, look, sometimes things go wrong, and we're gonna have to fix them. All right, thanks so much for hanging out. I I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Thank you again for watching the video. If you'd like to see more from me, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I'd also very much love to hear from you down in the comments below.